Hello everyone, welcome to Science Second Session for this week. We're going to start with a starter. I want you to rub your hands. Okay, and stop. Now, the second time you're going to keep the pencil in between your hands and try to rub again. Now stop. Which steps allow you to rub easier and faster? What do you think is the reason? Yes, the one without a pencil is easier and faster. The one with the pencil is harder and slower because pencil is stopping the speed of rubbing hands. Today we are going to um, learn about different surfaces affects the motion of a moving object. So this is RLFQ and the date. You don't need to write a topic again because we've already written it in the first lesson. Now let's quickly recap what is force. Force is a push or a pull. All the different things that we push we need force. All the different things that we pull we need force. So forces makes things move faster or slower or it can also make things happen. It can also stop, uh, slow down the moving object or it can also make it move faster. Okay, there are different surfaces. You can see there is a grass, gravel, sand and road. Now in all these surfaces, there it creates different friction. Now what is a friction? Is friction is a force and what kind of force is this? It stops or it slows down the moving object. Friction always acts in opposite action. When you want to move fast while battling, battling a cycle, a bicycle, friction will slow down your speed. This is a cyclist trying to move it fast and this is the friction that is trying to slow down. So friction always works in opposite direction. Surfaces, all these surfaces exert a force on the bicycle. Different surfaces have different friction. When your surface is smooth, like road, like a gravel, then it will have less friction. When it is rough, like grass and sand, it's not so smooth, then it will have more friction. Depending upon the smoothness and roughness of the surface, friction also happens. Now, I want you to draw a table for this. One left side you write lot of friction. On the other side you write let's a little friction. Now choose grass, gravel, road, sand. Which one will come under lot of friction or which one will come under little friction? Okay. Later on we will ask this question. We will uh, look out for this answer. We'll check this answer. Our AFF. Now, Omar is rolling a ball in different surfaces, four different surfaces, as you can see in this given table. Okay. Now, the time taken for rolling the ball, it's also given. You see, different surfaces and time taken. Now, the question is, the ball rolls across the con uh, concrete or ro road for the longest amount of time because why is this taking the longest amount of time for the ball to stop rolling? That's because, yes, the answer is C. Hmm? The concrete is smoother than the other surfaces like gravel, sand, grass, the road is, the road surfaces 
smoother. Second question, what makes the grass surface takes the shortest time to stop rolling? Why the grass surface took only 12 seconds? Because that is the roughest among all the surfaces that is given there in this table. Okay. Now here are some of the discussion of these children. We are going to say whether they are false or they are true. The first student said rough surfaces produce more friction. Yes, that's true. Friction is a force. True again. Friction slows moving objects slows down. Yes. All surfaces create friction on an object moving over them. Yes. Friction makes the object move faster. No, that's not true. That's false. And friction is always a useful force. No, it's false. It's not always a useful force. In some situation, it is a useful force. We will come to know later. Here is your task. Once you complete the task, you take the quiz and enjoy. Thank you, everyone.